Okay, so we are at the final save here. <coughs> um, we've got some reverse Joker Dooms to do. Um, I'm not going to push for... Oh, crap. No, i got to reset that. Oh, no, no, I'm good. Uh, this is all I need to do. Oh, no, we're good. We're good. Okay. Thought I forgot to put the rivet on. So, this is pretty specific what I do here. Um, the first tier is pretty, pretty easy. I mean, I might get knocked down a couple of times, but for the most part, like, it's... If I'm not pushing for time, it's it's really easy. Second tier, um, that's the hardest one of the batch. Uh, and it's because it's RNG dependent. There's an enemy. I mean, there's a, there's there are other ways to to beat this guy, but they take a lot longer time. Um, anyway, when he dies, he does an attack called ten hits. And when 10 hits goes off, it's exactly what he says it is. He just he attacks 10 times. Um, <clears throat> we're good on... Um, what was I going to say now? Um, Anyway, we're good with uh, Salas and Edgar. They're at 128 plus, so um, there's not much they need to be concerned about. It doesn't mean there's nothing that they need to be concerned about. There are definitely things out there that they're, you know, would give them cause for concern. But generally speaking, um, Salas and Edgar don't have too much to worry about. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Setzer is extremely vulnerable. So part of that is, so in Reverse Joker Doom, in order to get this to work, we strike Setzer with an, a, a weapon or our fists or whatever. Uh, so what I do is Edgar, actually it's an enhancer, he strikes him with an enhancer because uh, Edgar has an enhancer equipped as a weapon. So what happens is during Part of the command sequence, uh, I use the fight command with Edgar and I attack Setzer. Um, so it's important that uh, Setzer doesn't dodge that attack or that Setzer doesn't. Um, I don't know, Setzer, he needs to be hit by the attack. It's important that he's hit. And so, because it's important that he's hit, that means we need to make him vulnerable to physical attack. So you see that there's a little bit of an ir ironic twist here. And so, in order for us to make this attack that we're going to be using to win this whole battle here, um... Let's see here. No, it's Setzer, Celis, Edgar, Saban. Um, <clears throat> he needs to be hyper vulnerable to physical attack, which means that he can get wrecked. Ah, uh, so what we're doing here, <clears throat> and I'm not getting crazy on the, you know, going for perfect times and stuff like that here, but. What we're going to do here is we're going to get Celis hasted, and we're going to get Edgar hasted, and then, uh, oh, and, um, we're not really going to be super concerned about Setzer and Saban right now. we got a couple things we need to get done with these two before we start concerning ourselves with them, but... We're gonna go, what the heck, didn't I, what? 
All right. Oh, not a phoenix down. I'm an idiot. Take sure. So, um, what we're gonna do here? We're gonna get Celis hasted. We're gonna get Edgar hasted, and we're gonna get and we're gonna use Setzer for that. And we're gonna use uh, Saban to get Float cast on the party. Setzer has Cherub down on, so he just floats all the time, so we don't need to be concerned about him floating. But everybody else needs to have Float. If we don't have Float at the end of this fight, then we're probably gonna be having to reset, and we, we would lose. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, Alright, so now that we've got the long arm killed, we use Doom to kill that one. That's, he's susceptible to that. And so we just spam. You, I mean, it's like, a, I don't know, one, to th one in three or one in two chance there. It's it's not great, but it's, it's you know. It's doable. It's not a big deal. Um... Celis should already be hasted. Now we're going to try and get Edgar hasted. Edgar's really slow. <coughs> and let's try and see if we can't get Saban up and going here. Now that we've got the left arm killed, now we kind of just want to get everybody up and going. So that we can do what we're going to do here in a minute. Now, Saban has Gaia gear on. So... If he gets unlucky and gets knocked down and he's not floating anymore, he should be fine at the end of this battle. I say should be because he should be, but you never know. Things are weird sometimes. So what we're doing is we're lining up our attacks so they're in the right order uh, when we need to use them. And so this is the sequence of events. We're gonna try it right. Wait, no, wait, wait, no. Let's let's do this first. <coughs> All right, here we go. So this is the sequence of events. So, on these earlier battles, we can start our reels early, which I shouldn't even be doing because then I get lazy about it. But, oh, there's my bar. Oh, I missed it, son of a bitch. Well, that's the first time I've missed in a long time. A reel, I mean. But, because uh, we're doing reverse Joker Doom instead of Joker Doom, it's not that big of a deal so long as nobody gets knocked down here and we have to start something over again, uh, then we'll be fine still. So, um, we can just reload and do it again. That's one nice thing about this versus jo uh, straight Joker Doom. So here we go. We'll go again. This is the sequence of events. So I shouldn't even be doing it. Like I could lock these in before Vanish even is finished if I'm really good. But what we're doing here is 7-7 seven, seven bar and oh, I missed it unbelievable garbage I am garbage <laughs> oh. okay 
Uh, we'll line up and go again. So what we're doing here is 7-7 seven, seven bar. And you have a very, very, very limited window to do this. I'm trying to stick with that limited window here so I don't get lazy because I'm going to not have time. Dang it. So you miss like that and you're, you get... You kind of almost have to get every reel just right. You, you don't get very many chances. Uh, how did I miss that again? In practice, I practiced this segment earlier. It's the first segment that I played ahead, and uh, I didn't even realizing I didn't even realize exactly what I was doing. I uh, thought I was streaming, but I had selected the record button instead of the stream button, so it didn't even it didn't do as I had intended it to do. So, all right, let's try it again. It shouldn't take this many, I mean, in practice I was nailing it every time. I don't think I missed a single reel. I don't know. There, I missed it again. I didn't even tap it. So I don't even know. Garbage. Again, with the garbage. Straight dumpster fire trash. Whatever, dude. Whatever. I don't know what... I'm just straight up failing to execute. That's what's going on here. A uh, foul. Dumpster fire of an example of failed execution is what we're looking at here. Sadly. All right, so vanish, muddle, fight, slots, small window, I missed, I don't understand, I should not be missing, I don't, I don't get it, I don't, I'm not doing anything different. Well, you gonna see a cool Bahamut animation. We don't see those very often, and that's what Setter gets for it. He deserves that. I should have found out whether I'm advancing or not by now. Like normally, I mean, it's only a few rounds here, like three, four rounds, usually. I don't know what's going on here. I'm failing to execute, that's what's going on. That's I don't know why it's happening, but I'm failing. Big league. There we go. So, I don't know how many tries that took, but too many. Usually the, oh, what, what? No, 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 he's not supposed to do that. Whatever, straight trash, dumpster fire. Dumpster fire trash. That was bad. That was gross. Um, he's not supposed to attack there. So I did something wrong. I don't know what I did wrong, but I did something wrong. The worst part about this is watching this cutscene over and over and over.
I'm not a big fan of that type of stuff. Well, so doom the long arm with Celis. Float the party with Saban. Haste the two force armor people with Setzer. Line up for Joker Doom. Second round is Siren with Celis. Then use Doom on the machinery until it hits. And unless I'm forgetting something. Just vanish, save him, get everybody up, set up for Joker Doom. But the problem with round number two is that when you kill that one guy, his retort is 10 hits. And as I was saying earlier, Setzer is highly susceptible to physical attack. It has to, it's in his nature because of he has to get hit when Edgar strikes him with his enhancer um, if, if, if Setzer or if Edgar misses there then it's 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 a busted move it doesn't work um, I can't believe I missed those reels earlier But on the on the bright side, you know there are advantages to reverse Joker Doom over Joker Doom. Um, one of them is you have multiple attempts. If you fail, you fail to execute for some reason. So long as you still have your party upright, you can do it again. You can try it. It'll it'll. It's not like you missed your window where you kind of do with Joker Doom. Okay, it's kind of a one shot deal with that. I mean if if. If the wrong things don't happen, then maybe you could try it a second time, but uh, I just don't remember there being a whole lot of success on the second attempt with Joker Doom. That third reel is picky and it doesn't like that seven very much. Uh, reverse Joker Doom, on the other hand, you don't have to get three sevens. You get seven seven bar, and the game is more uh, the game would prefer to give you seven seven bar. Like it doesn't it doesn't have a problem giving you that at all. It's not gonna fight with you very much. If you try to get seven seven bar, the game's not gonna fight with you. It's gonna be like, really, that's what you want? Alright, whatever, dude. You can have that. We're not gonna I mean, you can still mess it up, but I mean So typically what we want here in a perfect world would be for Celis to go first and use Doom, which I don't have magic to do because I'm a moron and I never fill her up, but uh, normally, opening move, best case scenario, opening move is Doom, hits the, le the long arm, and Doom hits. Uh, not, not perfect scenario. But uh, he casts Haste on Celis. He then casts Multi Target Float. In this case, um, Setzer already has. Share up down, so he's floating no matter what. Um, but we're doing this because of a move that this enemy will do here. And one thing about this whole run is nobody can be dead at the end of a round. If anybody's dead at the end of a round, except for the final round. It, it's not going to work. Alright, now I think we can go ahead and do this now. 
Oh wait, let's uh... That's the last thing I need is to strike him with the enhancer there and then he falls down. Uh, model we need. Ah, uh, where's the model? There we go. Alright. We're gonna give it a shot. Hopefully I stop uh, making mistakes here. So, because I was quick there, and I also got the added benefit of the enemy going using a, a command that didn't do any damage to me, I'm going to be so far ahead on this last reel. Like, let's say I go perfectly, and I, I get each spot locked in perfectly. Like, if I do that right now, I don't even know. Let's try it. Wait, I don't want that. Let's see here. So I can wait. I have to double tap the last one because if I... Oh, dude, come on, man! Unbelievable, dude. That's just so much dumpster fire right there. Give me a break with that dumpster fire. That's just... Come on. <laughs> come on. Uh <sighs> We got a raging inferno in that dumpster right now. It's getting pretty foul. He should be good on the not floating thing because he's got Gaia gear. So he should absorb the, the attack there. Alright, uh, I think we're ready. Now let's see if I went too fast. I might have. Oh, give me a freaking break, dude! Are you for... Alright, that's fantastic. Wow. Man, there's something with the timing. The timing is way, way, way off. Alright, let's, uh, let's do this. And let's get that tincture used on Celis here, for starters. So we can at least potentially have a perfect opening round. That would be nice. We haven't been able to do that yet. Alright, so we're going to switch over here, switch over to here. Give you a tincture. Actually, a sleeping bag is even better. Alright, and then... We'll go back to you, and we'll make a save. And... Fantastic cutscene again. Yeah, I'm so torn about this, you know? Like, I uh, have gone out of my way to do nothing other than reset a soft reset or reset a hard reset. I haven't done any other thing that could be done on an emulator that wouldn't... I mean, that wouldn't... I mean, because you can either turn your Super Nintendo off or you can reset your Super Nintendo. 
and those were all that I left for myself as far as options when playing this run here so I am of a mind that I should continue watching this cutscene and torturing myself every time that I don't actually win the fight which could be a number of times because that 10 hits man that 10 hits is straight up RNG I have not found a way to better my odds I've got three guys that will survive an attack and I've got one that won't so there's no guarantee that Setzer even gets targeted but Setzer to his credit um, he definitely will block one of those attacks I've seen him block two of those attacks um, I've seen him block two of those attacks and that was the difference in the fight and uh, the battle advanced to the next stage but I've also seen him block two attacks and it wasn't enough because they came back for more and just you know so many heart-wrenching losses uh, to that 10 hits but really, that's going for speed. I mean, I, if I boil it down to each round having a specific order of turns, and that being, I guess, probably the fastest that I can do it, I think. Um, I mean, I might be able to do the final tier in the first round. I was thinking a remedy could help me do that maybe but because I do have a little window of time there I'm a little bit faster than him so I can I mean it I just don't know the last time I did this which is a long time ago um, I had myself on an idea that I could beat him uh, before he kills one of my party members. But the problem is everybody needs to heal up before I can go because <laughs> it's pretty ruthless. Um, hit points aren't a real big deal. Magic points are a big deal. And sets are having full health is a pretty big deal. Alright, I think this is right. So we're going to go opening move, long arm, doom, will sell us. Hopefully, if that's the first turn, then, you know, that's ideal. But she didn't go first. Uh, I probably should have just not done this, but I did anyway. I just want to get that started as fast as I possibly can. Because I can't advance with anything until that's over with. All right, well it hit. So now we got at least two more rounds and then we can go Joker Doom. Maybe longer if we get bad luck. on slots which he wasn't and then we'll go run this and see if we can get it to go you know I'm gonna I kind of feel like I should wait for that jackass to go but I'm not all right so here we go we basically have that window of time where the animation for the model is happening and it's not that bad to get 7-7 seven, seven bar. Now, if you feel like you can get the first 7 on the first reel on the first time, and you can confidently do that, I don't know, 75% of the time, that's good enough in most of the time. 
Maybe you got to let it spin around a second time. You know, that doesn't mean you lost. Um, depending on how fast you are, you have a fair amount of wiggle room. Uh, and when I say a fair amount of wiggle room, I mean, we're talking about, like, fractions of seconds, but it feels like it's a lot longer when you're doing it. Uh, we didn't get float, or what? Okay, um... I'm gonna... I'm gonna close this with a little bit of info about my gear and stuff, and then I'm not gonna keep going on this. I feel like I've kind of got ripped off a few times. Um, I don't know how I didn't float. I must have forgot to float. I thought I floated. Um, so, what we got here is... Sabin has a ribbon in running shoes. That's pretty self-explanatory. Um, but he's the guy that can, shouldn't ever have a status element on him. And he's fast. Plus, he's got haste all the time. We don't have to worry about ever casting haste on him. He's good to go. Um, his equipment, he's got... You know, I was thinking he should have an ice shield, but that's got to be Setzer, and there's a reason why. He's got Gaia gear because it will absorb... So mostly I would have ninja gear on him because it makes him faster, but uh, Gaia gear absorbs earth, <coughs> and that's a big deal against the first boss um, if something goes sideways in the fight and he does he loses his float but he's still alive when that monster does his um, retort and chooses to do quake then um, he'll absorb the damage you won't die from that so anytime you can nullify or um, heal from something uh, that's a good thing at this part of the game because you're going to get a wider variety of stuff thrown at you so giving yourself immunities and stuff is a pretty big deal the Aegis Shield is just a great piece of armor it, I mean unless you're going for a specific like elemental resistance or something um, it's probably the, the only shield that would trump that is probably going to be well, not counting the Paladin Shield, but it's going to be the Force Shield, probably. Uh, Asia Shield is pretty good. Bard's Hat, strangely enough, uh, as far as stuff you can buy and lots of people can wear, Bard's Hat has the highest uh, magic block uh, points for headgear, so that's why we wear that. Um, Setzer, Ice Shield, he's got that to absorb an attack in this battle. Uh, Red Cap is a really good defensive hat. It's a really good, really, really, really good hat. Um, but it doesn't have... Um, it's got less magic block than the Bard's hat, which is what we want. We want his, we want his uh, magic block percent to be low. But we don't want him to be, you know, to wear nothing. Um, so we give him the red cap. Red cap is really good. It makes him faster as well. So that's a pretty big deal for Setzer because he's really slow. And then the ninja gear makes him faster. So we're basically just trying to make him as fast as we can. And uh, Ice Shield again to nullify an attack. Now running shoes again to make him as fast as we can because he's slow. And then Cherub down because... Uh, basically the same reason why we have the guy gear on Saban. It gives him an out in case something goes sideways on that first tier so that he wouldn't dive. So that's pretty much it on that. Um, as far as these two, it's pretty, pretty much straight up it is what it is. <coughs> Edgar has white cape, white cape, and then he has what is else is required to get him to 128 plus and that's what's going on that's simply all that's going on 
He's at 128 plus. And uh, he has items that he can use. And he has some magic that he can use. But for the most part, during this whole thing, um, unless he wants to throw a vanish on somebody for some reason, uh, all he's doing is items and fight command to execute reverse joker doom that's his job that's it but he stays alive because he's got 128 plus so that's huge Celis, same thing 128 plus but because she's the best in the game she only needs one real like to do it and when i say that i mean obviously you know you can get like the illumina and stuff like that you can use merit award and get stuff that's stronger than an enhancer uh there's stuff that you can do but uh with straight Mystery Veil and Enhancer are purchasable items, but they're good for raising that magic block percent. And then the Forest Gear. Uh, but she only needs the one relic to get there because she's at 129 with only one relic, which is pretty awesome. So now we're going to give her that gold hairpin, which has her magic used, which is massive. Uh, big time because she's the one that's casting doom on uh, the, the first tier the second tier uh, she's the one who's using the esper she's doing lots of stuff uh, she's the one who's casting uh, using uh, vanish multiple times uh, her being able to use that gold hair is a big deal so that's why we have what we have. There are different spots in the game where we have different stuff on, obviously, but because uh, we don't get that force stuff until this battle, we don't use the force stuff or anything until we get to this tower. Um, I don't know if there's anything else to be brought up, really. Um, she dooms those two enemies. Um, for the most part, her job is casting vanish on whoever needs vanish cast on them and using items and using the doom on the the two tiers there the two monsters that you can use it on um, I know it's so basic right it's just such a basic thing you get these four people they're here to do just basic jobs but you can beat this final boss with basic jobs and with a little bit of practice you can do pretty fast but I'm way out of practice and I will continue this at, or I have all intentions of continuing this at a later date so Lord willing I will be back on here I don't know next time I get on here I guess so until then, I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your day.